Alright, cool. So this will be a 365 day devotional prayer for being rescued. Psalm 32 5. Sweet. Take one and action. Alright, 365 day devotional from Max Ricardo's book. Uh, God is with you every day. We're on uh, May 14th. May 14th, it is 2018. This is titled A Prayer for Being Rescued. Then I acknowledged my sin to you, and I did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Psalm 32, 5. Father God, you redeem me from my sin. You have taken it far away from me. You are perfect love. Help me as I search to find worth. I feel so unworthy of love that at times I need your help to discover where my true worth is. Be strength for those of your children who don't believe their sin is taken care of and are walking around with unnecessary weight on their shoulders. How can I thank you for your sacrifice? How can I express my gratitude for my freedom? My words don't seem enough, but I thank you that you've healed and rescued me. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Psalm 32, 5. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. A prayer for being rescued. And we should never, ever, ever forget who our Father is. Ever. No matter how bad life gets, I don't care if you, what's the worst of the worst, uh, a spouse dying or a child dying, that's bad. But if, if you go from celebrity to nothing or bankruptcy, that ain't nothing. That is nothing like losing a life of a loved one. So, suicides and it's not an option it's not a choice it's there's always someone or something to turn to um, man we get attacked every single day the higher we make it up in life the more celebrity or popular we become or financial status or educational or work status that is when the enemy comes at you the hardest to tell you that you are unworthy of this position. You are not good enough for this. And and expect that. That's going to be your mind telling you. But isn't that weird? It's not really your mind doing that. Because you're not programmed that way. But it is. And we tell us. But, but you wipe that clean. Because what Jesus did on the cross. And what the word of God says. What God says. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You can do all things. And that He is our Heavenly Father. He is the God of the universe, of everything, and created all things. And His Son Jesus died on the cross. And we have the same power, the same power within us, the Holy Spirit that Jesus had while He was here. The same, if you believe, there's always somebody to turn to. So we got to come up with some universal signal which I think we already have, but this communication thing isn't working out too well for some of us. Uh, that we're okay. Thumbs up, and it is okay to go thumbs down to my friend's always checking me out. He means he's watching me. Mike's always watching me. But we need something. If it goes back to the thumbs up or the okay, I like the okay. That you see a brother in Christ or just a good friend that you shoot him the okay. All right, because sometimes we are busy. And we are 15 feet apart, and one's walking this way, and one's just shoot it up okay. And because you never know what a brother or sister is dealing with. I mean, guys or women. I mean, we, we get taught to be strong and be tough and don't show emotion. But inside, we're breaking. And inside here, we're breaking that pressure. And inside here, those things that are telling us. That we're not good enough to do what we're doing and we won't be able to do that and we're going to fail at that. And that is, it's BS. It's total BS. And we should have a, 
uh, uh, no spirit of fear, but a spirit of courage and power and love. And, and, ah, oh, so when you hear that a friend, somebody you dear care about, chooses suicide, which some of you maybe have, uh, have, uh, experienced this with friends and childhood friends or, or family members, I mean, they'll give all kinds of excuses and reasons, but that is not the last resort. There's people there if you just talk to somebody. Oh, I talked to all those. When you hear it happening to Christian guys. I, I don't get it why you can't talk a guy down from a bridge if he's a Christian guy. And if anybody, the 14 hours of negotiation, that if you just open up some scripture and that it's not going to get him down from that bridge or change his mind, you know? It's always going to God. Um, not going, oh, I guess all we can do now is pray. No, the first thing you should do is pray. So, hmm. that's all i got to say about that. Just a good friend of mine at the gym, a friend of his, um, in San Antonio, Texas, what I shared Friday night, Thursday or Friday night, uh, that he's missing since May 2nd. Uh, a parent suicide. They're not sure yet. Uh, with the autopsies not done, this was just last night. But the car parked by the woods and walked deep in the woods. You know, that's it. I don't. They haven't released anything else yet. But this was a Christian dude with um, a popular guy, good guy, family guy, wife, high school sweetheart. Sons and daughters, I think it might have been two daughters, I'm not sure. But, uh, you gotta think about all that. But as you can see, how strong the enemy comes at us. And we forget about that. Forget about the enemy is out there seeking, seeking somebody to devour, somebody huh, to kill, steal, and destroy. Somebody. And, uh, it is out there in. Like I said, it comes at us. It comes at me. That's why I keep the Word of God close. But the main thing that I do wherever I'm at, in my house, in my car, at work, it's a little harder. Uh, but the Word of God is near or the music is going that keeps saying it. Because there's this voice over here, but the music drowns out that little voice. And then you go, oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, God does say that. Yeah, that's right. I don't care if it's to a Toby Mac song or Hillsong Young and Free, Hillsong United, Chris Tomlin song. That's right. He's a good, good father. If our God is for us, who can be against us? Yeah. And <laughs> crazy, huh? So keep that with you. You have to keep the word God with you in that close relationship. Or your mind's going to get attacked. And um, there is ways to prevent that. No ways to prevent it is stay super close to God. I mean, as you move up, I mean, it's less and less time with God sometimes. But as you move up and you're trying out new things in your life, it should be closer to God, closer to God, closer to God. Draw closer. And uh, as I said, as you draw closer, uh, you will get attacked more. But that's why you draw closer to God. And God pursues you more. And you pursue God more. And... Uh, Hmm. Yeah, but God's not going to let anything happen to his children. But he's got to see that you're making the choice, the free will, the free will choice to choose God. To choose what God says in your head all the time. Versus what the enemy says. So, I guess that's that. And then, another thing was, I mean, we, I guess... Fitness professionals, I mean, there's men and women, but who told you, I haven't experienced yet, not in my five years and experience, I don't get why the women feel like they have to work harder or, or, or be better. Aren't they already at our same level? I've never seen that it's harder for a woman. It's harder for a woman in the fitness industry or health industry. 
maybe perhaps you've experienced that if you get around the football type stuff uh, in the big colleges but I've never I would have to ask that person hey has anything ever directly happened to you or is that just hearsay that you hear about and a lot of times just what you hear about I mean so because you the person that said that I totally respect them and everything that they say and I honor them as a woman and respect their their education and their knowledge and their experience I mean have you experienced that with me or with him or anybody here at all? Well, no. Well, <laughs> that's just something that the world, that happens to those type of people, uh, I guess. But we'll be on the lookout for that. But remember once again that the, the Word of God says we have troubles and trouble and trials and stuff. But uh, he, the Word of God give us the, the confidence like I said, he'll never give us more than we can handle. He gives us the confidence. That's where I get my confidence from. I think knowing the word of God is better than reciting some goofy bozo stuff, poetry, or some awesome medical journal manual reciting stuff. Um, so, but if you know the word of God, even if you can't memorize it, I mean, just kind of knowing where to reference it. Or kind of knowing, oh, I think it kind of says this, right? Or, I know, hey, we're going, hey, the Bible doesn't say that. I should have said that. And there was another guy right with us. I don't think he's a Christian guy. So, hey, I still could have done it. I should have done it. Hey, the Bible doesn't say that, does it? I mean, uh, but like I said, comes back that we're going to get attacked by the enemy it's going to put little ideas in our head and these ideas are not true true the only ideas that are true are the truths and promises in the bible and the word of god and that he loves you so much and he's a good good father and uh is here to help you and prosper you and give you abundant life and um his ways are way greater than our ways his knowledge is way surpasses anything so remembering that so put your faith in god Put your faith in his son, Jesus. Uh, we are good to go. I think that's it. Psalm 32. Oh, boy. How far are we going? Let's see. Uh, how's this thing work? Psalm 23. <laughs> Psalm 30. Well, there it goes right there. Uh Blessed is he who transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man whose sin the Lord does not count against him, and in whose spirit is no deceit. So if you do have any, just repent of all that stuff. Repent of it. It's gone through the blood of Jesus, through what happened on the cross. But you have to repent. Yeah, you have to admit that, yeah, I lived a sinful life. I did this and did that. and But I repent and I leave it at the cross and leave it there and go. And then stay focused on Jesus. Leave it there and go, because he took it on the cross. But, uh, yeah. When I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night, your hand was heavy upon me. My strength was sapped as in the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my inequity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord. And you forgave the guilt of my sin. And this is Old Testament, right? Old Testament psalm. Just true then and now and always. Therefore, let everyone who is godly pray to you while you may be found. Surely when the mighty waters rise, they will not reach him. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from the trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you. Do not be like the horse or the mule, which have no understanding, but must be controlled by bit and brittle. Or they will not come to you. Many are the woes of the wicked. But the Lord's unfailing love surrounds the man who trusts in him. Rejoice in the Lord and be glad. You righteous sing. All you who are upright in heart. Awesome. It's cool. So confess your sin. Bam. It's gone. You are forgave. You forgave the guilt of my sin. It is gone. Let it go. Don't let the enemy remind you of that junk. Say, Jesus came. He forgave that debt. Totally gone, enemy. So I don't know what you're saying. Enemy uh, don't have no Bible uh, that says this stuff. This is There's only one Bible, one truth, and this is it. Um, and the quote today, 
at the NTC. I think it had something to do with um, just because you don't believe the truth doesn't mean it's not true. I mean, one day your eyes will be opened and it would be it'll be truth to you. But right now it's truth, but it's just when you believe it. It's just a matter of when you actually believe it's truth. Right, Stormy? So, so did you want to help? All right, we got to roll out. 15 minutes, 21. No watch. We got to go get some more steps. I don't even know how many steps. It's been raining. My steps are low today. It was Mother's Day celebration today. Today is Monday. Interesting, huh? Worked out perfect. Love you guys. As always, uh, message or comment with whatever you want. Um, check out Psalm 34 too. And Ephesians 3, 4, and 5. That's your homework. <laughs> you read that right away and it's all gone. And it tells you how to, how to live. I mean, it's very simple on what to focus on, who to be around, uh, who not to be around. And it's pretty cool. It's our roadmap. It's our playbook use it free gift it's all right there cool all right running running makes you feel like you're running really fast okay that's all love you guys see you no cat action